Hey, what is up YouTube? Today we're going to be talking about how we care for our pool on a weekly basis. So if you want to see what we do, just keep watching. One of the first things we do is skim off the top and then at the bottom we kick on our vacuum that we got from Walmart. This is the pool blaster. It was 99 bucks, but guys, it's totally worth it in my opinion. As you can see here, everything just gets sucked up into the little filter area. This is completely cordless, it runs on battery, and it has a pretty long battery life in my opinion, but it's quick and easy. But it really cuts down on the time that you spend vacuuming your pool. We probably spend about five to 10 minutes and that's it. Once you are done vacuuming, you'll just turn it upside down and let the water drain out here and you can just see how much that really collected. Just look at how dirty that is. This thing is awesome. Here we're gonna just swap out the dirty filter for a fresh clean one. And we're gonna spray these bad boys off and you can easily do so with a water hose. Same thing with our filter, spray it down and it's as good as new. To test our pool levels, we use these Clorox brand pool strips. And these ones are super duper easy. You just stick it in the water and then you scan it in with your phone and it tells you exactly what your levels are. Now that I have my strip done, you can come over and line it up with this little chart here and figure out where you're at. Or you can use the Clorox pool app that we downloaded on our phone. You'll hit scan to test, snap a picture of it, and then it'll tell you exactly what your levels are. You will hit confirm and it'll show you exactly what you need to add to your pool to correct any problems. We'll be adding pH down, shock, and algicide and clarifier. Here is another look at our results. It just shows you another way to look at it and you should be within the lines here. So as you can see, our chlorine is actually it's right where it needs to be so you won't see us add any chlorine to this particular video but we're going to show you how we add our ph down to lower ph and alkalinity and what else we add on a weekly basis these are the main things that you need to care for your pool on a weekly basis you can use whatever brand you want we use clorox um we couldn't find clorox chlorine because there's a chlorine shortage right now so hch is just fine You'll want to have the testing strips to test your pool, like I mentioned. You'll want to use some shock. Um, also, you'll want to have algicide, and we have high pH, so we'll use pH down, but you might not even need that one. But these are the main things. First thing we're going to do is add our pH down. I have a cup that I put with all my pool stuff and just label it so I know. Have our scale. And then on here, it tells you exactly how much we need to add, 5.60 ounces. There we go, 5.60, 5.60. Really, you can just kind of sprinkle it along if you like, or you could just toss it in the middle. So on this app, the Clorox app, there's a weekly plan specifically for you. On here, it tells me exactly how much shock I need to add and how much algicide I need to add. And I converted this over, so I need to add four ounces of shock. more than two ounces but hey we'll work with it this side was added four hours after the shock so it was not added back to back another thing i wanted to mention is when we add our chlorine since you did not see us add it to this video 
After we add our pH down, we wait two hours. That's when we add our chlorine. So this is pretty much all we do to keep our water sanitized and clean. That is it guys, so thank you so much for watching my video.